so hi everyone welcome back to yet another tutorial on model context protocol and this time we have automated twitter yes you heard it right and here you can see that i have posted a tweet from ai directly without coming to twitter at all so auto posting can now be enabled using ai using twitter mcp yes you heard it right as you can see this particular tweet model context protocol is revolutionizing ai agents by standardizing how models understand the environment etc etc it's completely generated by ai and posted by ai itself so let me show you a demo how i did it so that you believe me that this is not posted by me so here you can see that i have posted a tweet saying how model context protocol will change the world of ai and it has been able to post it let me try out something else post a tweet saying this tweet is generated using model context protocol keep it short so let's retry this and here you will see the magic your tweet has been posted successfully now ai is able to control my twitter as well as you can see we just now prompted cloud ai and now the tweet is here this tweet is generated using model context protocol the future of ai communication is here 18 seconds earlier so now i think you believe that using ai you can control your social media we have already covered youtube linkedin whatsapp now we have covered twitter as well so first of all i will be showing you how to do this how to integrate twitter mcp and then we have already shown you a demo let's get started so to integrate twitter mcp i am using this particular github repo that is ensign twitter hyphen mcp as you can see here it's quite easy to integrate so there are few things that you need to do you first need to go to twitter developer account and get your api keys so you need to get four keys i will be showing you what so let's go to our Twitter developer portal. This is how the Twitter developer portal looks like. As you can see here, you need to go to projects and applications. This is a default project that I'm using. As you can see. This is the default project settings here you can see. Now you need to click on this key, keys and tokens. Once you click here, as you can see, you need to get four things. One is API key and secret. Once you click on regenerate, you would be able to see two keys. One is a key, other is a key secret. Similarly, once you click on this access token and secret, you need to regenerate again. If it is not generated here also you will get two things access token and access token secret so in total there would be four entries that you would be getting from this developer account that you need to copy now once done i think rest of the process is quite same you need to copy paste this particular mcp server information about twitter mcp and api key api key secret access token an access token secret these four entries you need to copy paste from your twitter developer account now the last part is to change the config.json go to files go to settings you need to go to developer and click on edit config go to cloud, cloud desktop config and here you can see that this is my mcp server for twitter mcp and in these entries you need to pass in your api key secret key token and token secret once done you just need to go to your task manager as you can see here click right click and do end task completely remove cloud and then restart in that case you should be able to see twitter mcp tools that is post tweet or search tweet these are the two mcp tools that we get i think posting is very important and this can now automate my posting for my channel data science in your pocket on twitter 
you can also try it out it is completely free and if you don't have claude you can even use local llms also i have already covered in my previous tutorial how to do that too i hope you try out twitter mcp thank you so much